To get the category images to appear on the front end of my site so my visitors can see them, I need to make some changes to my theme and add some code. Now, because I don't want to change the original theme, I'm going to create a child theme and then add my changes in the child theme. That way, I can continue updating the parent theme and add in new features as they come without losing my own edits. If you're not familiar with child themes, you should go check out the WordPress Building Child Themes course right here in the lynda.com library. This course will walk you through the entire process of building a child theme and you get a full understanding of how these child themes work. Even so, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to build one here so you can get started on this course first and then you can go check out the other one later. In front of me now, I have my code editor and I've opened it to the WordPress install on my computer. From here, I'm going to navigate to WP content and then to the themes folder. And here you see a list of all the themes that are currently available. Now I can create a new folder for my new child theme. So I'll call it Simone Child. You can call it whatever you like. And then inside this folder, I'm going to create a single new file called style.css. This is the style sheet for the theme. And importantly, it also has a commented out head section that allows WordPress to recognize it as a theme and get the necessary information to get everything to work. So I'm going to put a comment here at the very top of my new style.css file and put in the theme information. Theme name, the author, a short description, a version number, and last but not least, the template. Now the template is the folder name of the parent theme. So in my case, the folder name is Simone. Now, if you've built child themes before, you may expect me to now add an at import and point to the parent theme style sheet. In the case of Simone, I don't need to do that because Simone has been built to follow a new standard that allows the parent theme to load its styles automatically into the child theme. So what you see now is actually all I need to get this child theme to work. I'm simply going to save this, go back to the dashboard of my site and navigate to appearance and themes. Here you see Child of Simone appears. We can click on the theme details and get the name, the version number, the author name, and also the short description. It says that this is a child theme of Simone. And when I activate the theme and jump to the front end, you should see that nothing has really changed except the layout. So in this case, I'm getting all my pages as menu items. So I need to go and make some quick changes to this layout. I can go to menus and go and assign this as the primary menu. And then I can go to the customizer and maybe get rid of the background image here and set the background color to something less contrasty. Maybe here, save and publish and close. So now the site is displayed using the child theme. And that means we can start making changes to the child theme so that our category images appear.